Hey traders, this is T Bradley 90 from the My Investing Club chat. I'm one of the top mentors and moderators in chat. As a special gift to our viewers on YouTube, we have created a free two hour course to help teach you how to start a consistently profitable trading business and identify high paying setups in just 30 days. There will be limited seating every week, so register for the course and reserve your spot now using the link in the description. As a special bonus for everyone that watches the entire video, we will give you the link to a free 10 hour additional mini course that has never been released to the public. Register now before all slots completely fill up. Hey everybody, Austin here. Back for another trade recap. Uh, this time it's gonna be on a low hanging fruit. I think this is my very first low hanging fruit uh, trade recap. And that's because I don't do a whole lot of them, but you know, I had a nice one the other day and I thought that there, there was a good, there was a good, I don't know, lesson or I don't know, tip, tidbit uh, or a trick that I use when I when I trade low hanging fruits and when I decide like which lines to use and I've briefly talked about this in other in, in webinars before but I wanted to do a video on it for everybody going in in specific detail about this concept and it's going to be about mixing lines so uh, before I get started I want to say um, I'm not a licensed financial advisor uh, I'm not I'm, an, I'm not an investment advisor none of this should be taken as investment advice even if it sounds like it okay yeah, so a low-hanging fruit and mixing lines. So yeah, so I had a nice, uh, uh, two days ago, I had a nice trade on PTGX, um, a low-hanging fruit trade, just a quick short out of the open and it worked right away, right? And you know, it, I almost wanna say this was an easy trade just because it worked right away, but I hate saying that, like, that no trades are easy, but even when trades that work right away, you still, like, it's very easy to, to forget about your process once everything's working, right? But you know, like there needs to be a reason why you take profits at certain areas, right? You know, so even when trades work right away, like maybe the hard part of the, tra the hardest part of the trade is over, but you still have to, you know, there's still like, you still have to stick, you have to have a process and have discipline, stick to where you want to take profits, stick to, you know, where do you, you know, maybe you want to force yourself to trail, maybe you want to force yourself to add in certain spots, right? So stocks don't always become gravy trains, but now that I being said this stock, this trade was pretty easy just because it did work right away. Anyway, so let's get into it. So my trade was based was PTGX. It was a day. Um, it was a day that it uh, three. Just some context for the trade. Three three days ago, like it had epically tanked on bad news. But then, like I think the uh, new news came out that like the CEO bought shares, and so like the stock came right back up, right. Yeah, as if let's just erasing that as if that bad day ever happened and that was this big day right here. And so my, my kind of thesis behind the trade was that this had just, now that we had tanked it like tanked immediately and recovered, the stock had lost a lot of its hype, right? So now that we recovered the big tank, now we're back just to where we were, right? So in my opinion, okay, so now the stock should get boring, right? We did tank and then the market corrected and said, never mind. Stock should be dead now. Like people shouldn't care about it. So, in my opinion, that's kind of that's a scenario. That's almost a perfect scenario for a low hanging fruit trade. It's a trade where you can just trade off of a line that should hold because no one should have any interest in moving it past lines. All right. Once okay, we did tank. Now it's back. Now what do we do? Right. The the move is over. So that's that's more. That's kind of the thesis behind low hanging fruit trades. Is you want the move to kind of be over. You want the hype for the trade to be over. You either want, it, normally it's a small cap trade that's broken down on day two or day three. People stop caring about it. That's the, that's the, that's the basis of what a low hanging fruit is, is that it's low hanging fruit. Not a whole, like people see it there. They, they're not that interested because it's not that exciting, right? And we had a really, I was really fortunate that on this trade day, AUPH was a huge mover, right? AUPH got up huge and so it, it stole all the glory, all the attention. So that actually, I think, really helped the trade or made it easier. So anyway, my trade was on PTGX on this day, right? So after the big recovery day, now what? The stock recovered, you know, so now what? What are we going to do, right? That's exactly the kind of mentality I like for low-hanging fruit. Eh, so what? What's it going to do, right? So zooming into the trade here, this is what I had to go off of at the start of the trade, right? And so... 
at the start of the trade, actually let me pull up my chart on it because this is the incorrect red to green line. When I was making this, oh, that's not it. That's it, P to GX. Um, yeah, so when, when I come into the day, I, I'm, I'm looking at a red to green line at like 810 and we're gapping down at like 770. Gapping da gap downs are kind of a, a common way of saying people are losing interest, right? That's, 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 that's one way I take gap downs is people are starting to lose, like it's losing demand, it's losing bidders. So the stock's gapping down, it's trying to find a place where it has some bidders. So the stock's gapping down, that, that's a good sign. We have the red to green line at 810 and eight dollar hole resistance at um, eight dollar hole resistance line at eight, obviously. So this is a factor I love when I trade anything in general, but especially when I'm trading stocks where I'm not sure what line to use or stocks where or like low hanging fruit trades. I'm really looking to group certain stuff. The more things I can group together, like lines, the more lines I can group together, the better. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at Tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.